All right, now that your side panel is complete, we're gonna switch and go to our top panel. We're only creating two full-size patterns here, um, and then that's going to create our sides and our top, and eventually we'll show you how to create the bottom. All right, that one we're gonna actually build off of our existing truss. So like we started last one, we're gonna go ahead and draw our supporting plate out here. So it's three quarters of an inch thick. The big difference here is now that we're looking down, this is our top view of the truss, it's actually five and a half inches wide. It's not six inches anymore. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and draw that truss, excuse me, draw that supporting plate. Again, this is a thing that people mess up on. It's five and a half inches this way and three quarters of an inch this way. Okay. Now, what we found over the years is our truss, the side, if we're looking straight down on it, right? Imagine here's our side panel. It's actually turned up like this. We're looking straight down on the truss. Um, our sides don't have to go straight out. In fact, if we tilt them in a little bit like this, we can use less material and actually have a stronger truss. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. And there's some techniques to do this to make sure that it comes out really nice. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is create something that we call a layout line. So I'm finding half of my supporting plate. And I'm going to measure down from the edge of the paper. So I'm at three and a half. And I'm going to come out here. It doesn't really matter how far you go. Three and a half. And I'm very, very lightly going to draw a line here. So just like the weight of the pencil is drawing that line. This is not part of a build. It's what we call a construction or a layout line that's going to help us with setting some things up. Okay. Now, our, my side panel, I chose it to be 10 inches out. Right? You might have 11 or you might have 10 and a quarter or something else. Whatever that distance is from the supporting plate out, so from right here all the way out, that's what this needs to be. Okay. So I'm going to measure straight out here 10 inches for me. If it goes off the edge of the paper, you might need to tape an extra piece of paper on here. Okay. So like we said, our side panels are going to be vertical. I want to tilt them in. I need to lay that out down here, how far I want that tilt to be. So for me, I'm going to choose three quarters of an inch going out both directions. So in the end, I have an inch and a quarter split here to right here okay just like we did on our side panel remember we gave a little bit of space at the top and the bottom we're going to do that here all right so the very minimum amount of space would be three quarters of an inch if you want to go more in narrower that's up to you but i would make sure that you're at least three quarters of an inch in okay so now I'm going to go ahead and make my connections. And just like I did on the side panel, I'm going to make sure I go all the way through. Okay. So there I have my pieces, right, to represent the side. Right. So now I'm going to take this truss and I need to line it up. And I need to transfer these points here, right? The points where everything comes together, we call that a joint. So I'm transferring that up to my center point here, my midpoint, or this layout line, and I'm using that to help me transfer it perfectly. So that should be three inches out, which it is. So I'm gonna make another line. I want six inches out, and this one is nine inches out, okay? I'm gonna hold off on that one for a second. So what I wanna do, is I'm going to go ahead and double check my measurements here. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to draw a line straight across. That's going to connect my sides together, but the reason why I'm doing it exactly at these points where my joints are here is because that's going to be what strengthens it up. We want all of our pieces to connect at the same point. If it connected somewhere out here in the middle, it would pull on the piece and bend it, and it would break a lot easier than if it was right at the joint. Okay. Now, the reason why I didn't do it at 9 inches is because we actually need a space here where we can test. A bolt is going to go through that space there. 
So what I usually recommend is giving about a half of an inch on either side. So right here at nine inches, we need a space. So if you can go eight and a half and nine and a half, and that would be acceptable. So I'm measuring from here out, eight and a half and nine and a half. So I'm, I, I'm on either side of that nine inches, and I'm giving myself a space to test. You could actually be a little bit closer than that because we only need about a half of an inch in there um, in order for it to work properly. Okay. Now what I'd recommend doing is doing some diagonals. Whether you choose to do X's or just a triangle is up to you. It all depends on how much material you have. And again, making sure that you don't put anything in here. Sometimes people actually put a, a cross like this, which is fine, just as long as we have that half inch by half inch space dead center at nine inches. Right there, nine inches, that mark right there, I need a half of an inch. Okay, so make sure that those divisions are done properly. You can see how everything's matched up. We've got some diagonals. It looks similar to our side panel, but you can see that it's designed with both of your sides tilted in, the hole in the top and nine inches. Last thing we need to do here is measure all this up, add up the total. Again, you wanna be somewhere between 50 and 70 inches. We'll add the three together. Your total three should probably not be with the two side panels in your top. You should be somewhere around, I would say 190 inches or less um, because we need to account for scrap material and we need to account for the material we need to make the bottom, okay? All right, once you get all that done, bring it by to me, make sure you get my seal of approval.